Woo, hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Bangkok, Thailand, guys. It's a great time to be alive. We've got lots to talk about. It looks like uh, the Senate has just passed a huge, huge uh, inflation relief bill out there. So we're going to be talking about that and what's the impact on cryptocurrency. So that could be huge for all of us out there. So hopefully that uh, will absolutely stimulate crypto and get crypto uh, going. And also we're seeing that uh, right now we're seeing that, you know, Bitcoin could be taking off. We could see a huge altcoin season about to happen. So that is huge beans in the house, guys. So get ready. Let's get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole together. And it is a great time to be alive. So don't forget to go back and watch all my other videos, guys. It is a great time to be alive. Let's take a look at the heat heat map right now. So overall, seeing that cryptocurrency right now is looking pretty good. We're seeing BTC is up about 1.44%. We're seeing Ethereum is up over 1,700 bucks. So keep in mind that we do have the Ethereum emerge that's going to be happening around about September 19th. So that is going to be big. And a lot of people are thinking that we could be seeing $2,000 coming in for Ethereum. And Ethereum is just going gangbusters. We're going to talk about that. Right now, we take a look at the fear and greed. Fear and greed is basically unchanged from where it was yesterday. So not too much to worry about. We had a pretty slow weekend. We saw that the volumes were low. And really, we, we did see a basically cryptocurrency just kind of going sideways. Don't forget, we got the huge CPI data that is going to be coming out on Wednesday around about 8.30 a.m. So that is going to be big, big news for everybody so everybody's kind of waiting in anticipation of that and uh, we are hoping that we're going to get and see some good news out there so that is what we're all waiting for and uh, you know if we get the good news you'll absolutely see that not only will the broader markets but you're going to see absolutely that the crypto will explode and we could be seeing twenty four thousand dollars coming in for um for a Bitcoin and we could see Dogecoin finally get itself above seven cents and stay there. Let's go Dogecoin. It's a great time to be alive. Uh, what else is coming in right now? We're also seeing that Justin Senate has passed a $740 billion inflation act. So it looks like, uh, it looks like the, uh, the Senate uh, ran an all-nighter last night and they basically were up all night and trying to pass this uh, bill uh, into law. So it looks like Biden has agreed that he's going to be signing the bill. So that is going to help and add a lot of relief to everybody out there. So the Inflation Reduction Act that was passed last night, just waiting for Biden to sign it, uh, said that, you know, the act, the Senate Democratic majority has passed the entire bill. It looks like, uh, it looks like the vice president was actually the deciding vote uh, because they were pretty much deadlocked all night. But it looks like uh, the, pre the vice president did actually swing and uh, sign the, uh, the last vote to make this into law. So this is going to have a huge impact. And, you know, I'm thinking that we could also be seeing some more inflation uh, stimulus checks coming out as well. So if that happens, the last time we had the stimulus checks printed, we did see that cryptocurrency did have a huge pump to the upside. So that is cool. It means that is actually what is going to be happening out there. So you guys should be feeling pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about that. And let's keep on keeping on. So what else is coming in? We're seeing that in uh, Kazakhstan, uh, over 20 people were arrested last night uh, because they had forced uh, IT individuals to run underground crypto farms. So that is kind of cool what do they do lock them up in the basements probably and and chain them to a wall so that is probably what's going on so that's just kind of a, a fun fact out there also it looks like justin coco has launched an nft collection on the polygon network and we're seeing that you know polygon uh, network is actually up and coming and it is one of the biggest rivals and threats to ethereum out there so that is cool being so if you guys uh, you know remember everything you see here is not financial advice if you guys are invested in Polygon, it's just a matter of waiting, waiting, taking your time, dollar cost averaging, and you'll actually see that Polygon network actually take off, and we should be going to the moony moon with that one. So guys, let's get it, get into it. What else is coming in? We're also seeing that we're about to see that the altcoin season is about to rip and roar. So, you know, we've seen in the past, we had these wave ones, we had altcoin season, we had a peak, a double top, then we had a low. Here we had old coin season two, which we all just experienced last year and everybody was going nuts and there's a lot of euphoria out there. So things are looking pretty good. And it looks like, you know, we had wave two, we had a double peak and then we had a low. So it looks like we're about to enter, enter into altcoin season three. So that should be coming sometime. Uh, you know, we should start, we start moving in, in that direction now. We should start to see things moving up. And we are actually seeing it. We're actually seeing the Bitcoin dominance come down. And we are seeing a lot of the altcoins slowly, slowly start to add value and the prices start to go up. And we're seeing more and more of the market cap is going up slowly, slowly. But we should expect some kind of explosion probably sometime. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating sometime in uh, October, uh, we should see a huge explosion for not only the old coins, but also a cryptocurrency. Guys, go down there, smash the likes, and uh, show some love for the OG. I would really, really appreciate it. So right now, we can see that, you know, if we take a look at what's going on here, it looks like Bitcoin's fifth great bull run is about to start. 
So we can see here that if you look at the initialization and we go all the way here, we had these reversals of downside, then we had a peak. So that was cycle three. Then we had a reversal. Then we had an upside to 69,000, and that was uh, cycle four. That was the cycle four that we just had from 2019 to 2022 that we just finished. And you know we're seeing the reversal here. We are actually experiencing the a reversal right here, right now. And it looks like you know as we get to around about September, October, we should see that cycle five should start. And we can see that you know cycle four was 1,078 days. We saw that uh, cycle three was 1,063 days. We saw cycle two was a uh, 903 days and you know we're anticipating that cycle five could be around about 1127 days in all so we're about to start that and i think that sometime around october ish we should actually be starting the fifth cycle and this cycle could take as you can see here we should see bitcoin go up to about two hundred thousand dollars and then see a reversal to the downside and then we have this whole what we're experiencing now just kind of like sideways action things going sideways and then we should start to see uh, another upside for cycle six but uh, cycle six is not going to start till sometime around the end of 2025 beginning of 2026 so guys like i said sometimes you just have to zoom out be cautious dollar cost average and don't panic like that a lot of you are are really panicking we can see that you know a lot of you are just frustrated and a lot of you really don't care uh, about uh, cryptocurrency right now but mark my words what you should be doing is dollar cost averaging do not do not panic out there and just keep holding guys that's absolutely all you can do that's all I expect you to do is just keep holding and uh, wait for life-changing wealth guys it's absolutely absolutely coming guys absolutely absolutely coming so we should start entering our wave six sometimes October ish October ish we should start to see uh, things start to turn around what else is coming in right now we can see that Cardano price moves above 50 cents so Cardano has been looking extremely extremely strong these days and we take a look at Cardano right now we can see that ADA right now is at 53 cents and uh, you know we're expecting I'm expecting that we could be seeing Cardano be one of the, the one of the early uh, darlings out there and one of the first uh, altcoins that are actually going to start to explode earlier than the other altcoins so it looks like you know Cardano is well above its resistance level uh, previous resistance level and we have a new resistance level about 55 cents so it looks like Cardano is definitely on the way to be breaking past that so you know what I'm doing I'm gonna be loading up on a ton of Cardano in my portfolio Cardano is my third biggest asset behind Bitcoin being my number one Ethereum number two uh, then all the layer ones you know Solana Solana I've only got 2.5 so I'm not I've kind of gotten out of Solana after all of its uh, you know blockchain incidents and all the hackity hack hacks I've got a ton of dot the Doge, Avalanche, Matic, I got a ton of Matic. So these are the things that you want to be watching. These are the things that we want to be looking out for. Also, we can see that the DXY rally has finished. So we're seeing that, you know, the DXY had this whole parabolic rise. It's starting to collapse down right now. So if we take a look at the DXY in the house, we can see the DXY right now is starting to collapse down. It's, a, it's gone up a little bit, uh, but overall we're seeing that the DXY is also going down. That's definitely going to be helping. Uh, that's definitely going to be helping cryptocurrency with this new infrastructure bill that's just coming out. We should start to see the DXY is starting to go down slowly, but surely, and that is huge in the house. Looks like the Ethereum Bitcoin chart is ready to take off. As you guys know, that Bitcoin, that Ethereum right now is up 31% compared to Bitcoin. And don't forget, we got the Ethereum merge that's coming out very shortly, September 19th. So a lot of people are betting that we're gonna see a huge, huge price explosion for Ethereum when the merge hits, and uh, that is cool beans. And it's about $21 billion locked up in the beacon chain. So a lot of people are absolutely betting that Ethereum is gonna be going to the moony moon. So that is great, great, great news out there. So other stuff that's coming in right now, I see Ethereum is heading for its highest weekly close in two months. So that is pretty good. And Ethereum continues to outperform Bitcoin as investors pile in, pile in ahead of the uh, merge that is now slated for September. And there's only over $21 billion locked in on the uh, Ethereum 2.0 beacon chain. So that is gonna be huge. When they release that, uh, I, I mean, I absolutely believe that, you know, Ethereum is one of the be best, best cryptocurrencies out there uh, next to Bitcoin. So if you guys are not uh, loaded up uh, on Ethereum, you're gonna be missing the boat. Like I always say, diversification is absolutely, absolutely key out there. 50% Bitcoin. Uh, I mean, I'm holding around about 35%. Uh, 50, I'm, about 55% is Bitcoin for me. 35% is Ethereum. And the rest, you know, we just talked about that. You know, Matic, Avalanche, uh, ADA out there. So these are some of the things that I'm, I'm uh, investing in. And I'm only staying in the top 50 cryptocurrencies out there. Of course, I got some Sandbox, some Meta Play out there. Uh, so it is absolutely a huge, huge time.
time to be alive, guys. It's, it's absolutely great. Looks like Meta is adding support for third-party wallet uh, connections for MetaMask, Trust Wallet, and Rainbow, uh, and Rainbow on Instagram. So you're going to be able to actually connect your Instagram account to your third-party wallet uh, like MetaMask and Trust Wallet. And also, you should be able to also uh, connect your hardware wallet like your Ledger, guys. And speaking about Ledger, guys, if you are got your crypto on centralized exchange or lending platforms, I recommend you get them off. Get, get, uh, remember, if you don't control your private keys, you don't control your crypto. So, guys, definitely you want to be secure and safe out there. So that's what I'm recommending. But this is huge, guys, that Meta, a.k.a. Facebook. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Facebook, but it looks like they're uh, allowing connectivity over Instagram so that is going to be huge and that's going to be for web 3 and all of that stuff so you know a metaverse is definitely going to be expanding and it looks like Instagram could be a major play like that so it looks like Ethereum Bitcoin Bitcoin charts like I said it's ready to be taking off and we can see Bitcoin starting to absolutely move and it's up 31% and it's had its best week ever guys and I believe that two thousand dollars for Bitcoin is absolutely coming let's take a look at for Ethereum let's take a look at Bitcoin on the on the daily right now so right now Bitcoin is looking pretty strong it's still it's, you know, this uh, 22,800 is acting as huge support. And uh, that is very good. And we didn't get rejected. We're actually on the way up. And you can see here, as I talked about uh, in my previous videos, you know, we often had a, we often had a, a swing down 14%. And then from the bottom here, we should we should anticipate about a 14% rise to the top side. And if we do get 14%, that is going to take us almost right here, and that should take us to around about around about $26,000. So if this does play out and we have seen here from here to here was a drop 14% then we went up another 14% went down 14% went up about just over 14% we did drop down around about 12 13% and now it looks like we could be uh, retracing that and I'm thinking that we could be going up about 14% and that should take us up to about $26,000 a house so that is pretty peachy keen uh, what happened last week we, we did see that last week did close in the red ever so slightly ever ever so slightly out there and uh, basically, we saw that uh, last week, Bitcoin had a low of 22,500 and a high of 23,600. So right now, we're seeing that Bitcoin is at 23,321 uh, and we're painting a green candle. So that is pretty good. And this is just kind of like a doji candle. It means that the market is really uncertain. So it's still looking pretty good. I think that this week, we're going to close in the green weenie weenie. Let's take a look at what's going on for the doji wojo right now. So doji wojo is looking very strong. Well, as we're approaching the apex of this candle, we should see doji start to break out above 7 cents. And if we can clear the 7 cent uh, level for at least 24 hours, then that will give us a confirmation. And then we're going to be on our way up. So right now, to hit our target of 8 cents, we actually need to go up around about uh, 12%. So that's not impossible. Given what Bitcoin has done and what Doge has done, I think that we could be seeing 8 cents coming in by the end of the month, guys. Remember, TA only works until it doesn't. This is just my best guess based on what I'm looking at, the formation on the chart. Uh, you know, it, and I'm saying that 60% of 60 uh, probability of us going to 8 cents and probably 40% probability of just staying where we are, guys. So keep that in mind. Absolutely keep that in mind. What's happening for the Doge? What's happening for the Shibi Weeby out there? So Shibi Weeby is at 12 cents. It's just kind of doing a crap walk and it's been really just going sideways uh, for for since uh, 29th of July out there so it is what it is let's take a look at Ethereum uh, Ethereum where are you Ethereum right here so Ethereum is looking good right now it's at 1214 and uh, you know the next level we need to breach past about 1800 bucks I have a feeling that by the end of this month we could be seeing two thousand dollars coming in for Ethereum which would be the absolute holy grail out there so I think I'm going to paint this white. I think that $2,000 by the end of this month is my target, guys. What do you guys think? Smash the likes, comment. I'd love to hear what you're going to say. Let's take a look at the total uh, leverage apes in the house right now. So right now we're seeing that the leverage apes in the house, we're seeing about $46 million worth of wreckage out there. $45 million worth of wreckage out there. And uh, we're, we're still seeing that the leverage traders pretty much is still Sunday in America, so not much going on. It's about $21,000. 21,000 traders have been wrecked out there. And so far, we're seeing on the hourly, we're seeing mainly short, so that's going to help uh, put a short squeeze on Bitcoin, and that's going to pump up the markets, guys. So let's see what's going on with that. Uh, we see the total market cap right now is about $1.12 trillion, and that's about 28 to 0 0.14 is the bomb. So really, like, Bitcoin dollars is coming down, so that is good news of bears out there. That's what we want to see. That's what you want to see. Let's take a look at the prices right now. I'll let you get out of here. So right now, we're seeing that Bitcoin is up about 1.37%. So it's not so bad, not so bad. And it, we're at 23.294. So we're doing okay. We're still up on the 30-day. We're seeing Ethereum is up 1.66%. You can see that Ethereum is just blasting away, 
and definitely outperforming Bitcoin right now. Just look at the comparison right now. And you often see that uh, Ethereum does outperform uh, Bitcoin on the long term. It often does. Uh, we're seeing BNB is also doing pretty good. It's up 34% and right now 5.3%. Uh, and if you're not holding a BNB for the next a bull run, you guys are going to be missing the boat, guys. So don't miss a boat. Load up on BNB. This is not financial advice. Cardano is looking pretty good. It's up 3.3% uh, today. We're seeing DOT is up 3.14%. 3, uh, 3 so that's also looking good. We're seeing the Doja Wars up almost 2%. We're seeing Avalanche is up. Matic is up. Uh, Shibi Weeby is up as well. So things are not uh, looking too bad. Just kick the table. <laughs> And uh, let's, let's keep on keeping on, guys. So, guys and gals, do go take a look at my uh, Twitter account and uh, follow me on there, guys. We got to about uh, 4,633 followers. And you can go back and watch this video. You know, this channel is also about giving back to the community. And what we like to do is, uh, you know, all the super chats, all the memberships, all that stuff, uh, we do give to charity. Hopefully, we're going to be running a charity video out here in Bangkok sooner than later, guys and gals. So, with that being said, don't forget to go and check out all my links below, guys. We got the Dogecoin Tippy Jar. We got the, uh, the Nano Ledger affiliate link. Become a Patreon member, buy a channel of coffee. And one last thing you want to do is gear up with OG gear. Get the merch, guys. Absolutely get the merch gear up with the og gear you're gonna love it i love it so let's get it right now guys so i just want to say have a great day have a great day wherever you are good morning good afternoon be blessed be well be safe this is the og all i gotta say is peace out